Hello and welcome back here on my English YouTube channel. As you can see it, I got it. I have working railroad signals here using some stuff from a company called Roku Fleischmann, very famous inside the topic of model railroad technology. And that's the technique I am adapting today to build that, what you can see right now. A very big thank to Roku Fleischmann, who are sponsoring today's and future upcoming videos digitalizing my Lego city. So stay tuned for today's update. It's a very technical episode today. We have the set 21 signal decoder. That's the big stuff you can see there. And I'm using that for um, controlling my signals. Back there, you see that very big black part. That's a, a digital central that is used to control everything in, when you're using a model railroad. Um, yeah, with a lot of stuff from Roku Fleischmann. As you can see here, I built a stuff. I built a lot of cable management stuff here with some uh, cables and you can see that blue light uh, yeah, glowing here at status. It means the signal decoder I'm using today to build up my signals is working. As you can see here, that's the set 21 app and we have 20 volts coming from the signal and not from the signal, from the main part of the signal decoder. And that's how I have to work. I'm using um, the lightning system from Light My Bricks, as you can see here, but the lights or the LEDs from Light My Bricks are only for 5 volts, so it's too much volts, so I'm using uh, some of these um, stuff, I don't know the English word, it's Widerstand, um, that pulls down the voltage a little bit down, as you can see here. And then I can use the LEDs from Light My Bricks with that stuff I'm doing today without killing the LEDs with too much voltage. And yeah, just the first test. It's, yeah, it's, it's working. So I can use the Light My Bricks LEDs inside my stuff, uh, using the, the technology from the set 21 from Roku Fleischmann. And yeah, that's the app. Um, it's on German at the moment, of course, because my main language, my, uh, is, uh, German. And yeah, it's a very, it's a little bit complicated if you're not, um, if you're not doing some stuff with, yeah, model railroad technology. Um, but it's a very cool technology to control everything digitalized. Later on in a uh, month and many more updates, I will be able to control the trains. I will be able to control the switches. I will be able to control all the signals and stuff like that just by using the app. And everything is then working. As you can see here on the signal decoder, there's different connectors and it's, it's a question of how complex your signals are. There are signals on trains that are having such, have a lot of yeah, lights and some have only two lights. And my signals we are working today use two of these connectors so I can only connect two of my big signals to one of the set 21 signal decoders. That's the system I'm using here. I'm using a signal from Germany, so Deutschland. And then I'm using the HV Haupt signal, so it's the main signal. And you can see how everything is pre-coded. So I just need to put or pull out what I want to have. Then I have to connect everything uh, to the right spots on my electricity system. And as you can see here, I have these little numbers here. And they connect to the connection point on the signal decoder. Um, we have these little numbers also here. You can see it here. So I'm can well, I know which signal light I have to put on which connector. So the red lights to, for example, number two, the green light to number one and stuff like that. And just some stuff here. And then I can pull in here my signal. Later on, I can pull all the stuff from my um, trains, like the train tracks, the signals, everything into that app. And here we can just change the address to number one because internally my signal is coded to signal number one. And then we can start to yeah, test some more stuff. As you can see it here, I have pulled on every signal, um, I have every, um, yeah, LED inside here. I have six LEDs. So a lot of cables are running out of here. Uh, mainly not connected right now. But I just started with one stuff here and now we can not, 
yeah, look once again at the um, connection point. So which LED has to go where? And as you can see here, the green light is on. That's very good because that means the system itself is working. That's, by the way, is just um, testing stuff. It will be much more smoother in the future. That's just for testing if everything can work, if I'm able to use that combination of the model railroad technique, Lego and light map brick stuff to create the that possibility of using uh, signals controlled with that app, as you can see it right now. And here you can see on the app down, I can change the signal. So when I'm just putting my finger on here, the green light is out. The so two red lights should be on, but at the moment they cannot be on because they are not connected. But that means that the control mechanism inside that um, signal decoder and everything else is working. Now I have added all the um, cables to my very complicated and not very nice looking uh, chaos stuff here. But as I said, that's just a prototype. So it will be looking much more nice in the future. And as you can see, every cable is connected here exactly to the numbers they should be connected to. And now we can test the stuff. As you can see right now, the red light is on and of two of these white lights. That means, uh, um, I'm not sure right now, <laughs> but we can test it now. That's the final signal. As you can see here, that's green and yellow. That means the train has to go slowly. Then we can go that means, um, I'm not sure right now at the moment. And, we have also that next signal that means two red lights. That means, of course, stop for the train. And we also have that one. I have had it already. That's it's a slow signal. So just go slowly. And then we have that green signal. That means you can go as fast as you are allowed to go on that train track. And I'm very, very satisfied after many hours and days of working, I have these working signals here and I'm going to add them, not today, but later onto my um, signals here in the train world, in my brick world. And it's a lot of cable stuff. I have to make it a little bit more smoother and better. I have to change that stuff. I'm using some other cables for the next prototype or the main prototype. I'm not sure if I need more prototypes or I can go to my um, production stuff. And that's how it will look once in the future. These are still my static signals. But all of them will be changed to that uh, controllable signals and it's a lot of work i also need some more signal decoders at the moment i have only two so i can only add four of them but another stuff or another topic i want to change is you can see here all my switches and i will be able to change the position of the switches also with the z21 app from roco that's something i want to do in a future update but for today that's all i wanted to do i have working signals so bye